Business owners in Chesapeake assessing the damage after a massive fire swept through and destroyed their building. Tenny Osai was first on the scene this morning as flames shot through the roof of the building. And we got a lot of help from you, the viewer, to help us tell the story with your pictures. One big question this midday, how did the fire start in the first place? Well, Tenny Osai's Liz Palka joins us now live from Chesapeake with the latest. Liz? Now, Don and Katie, that is what investigators are still trying to figure out right now. How did this huge fire start? Most of the fire crews have left for the day, but there are still some people here that are finishing up. There's also a demolition crew that's here that will be tearing down part of this now destroyed building because some of the walls are about to collapse in. But I just checked in with the Chesapeake Fire Department. They are still trying to determine a cause. The fire started around 2.30 this morning on Franklin Street, right off Bainbridge Boulevard. Our morning crew saw it themselves. This fire was big. Neighbors said it seemed to happen all at once. They were asleep, heard a loud boom, then saw sky high flames. Now this whole building is destroyed. Two charter buses are severely damaged. The three buses affected, three businesses affected, excuse me, B&G Bus and Truck Repair, Bray Restoration Specialist, and Tri-City Bus Lines. We spoke with the owner of Bray Restoration as he realized his business's loss. I'm just in awe because all my stuff is in there. I mean, there's HEPA vacs in there, there's air scrubbers in there, there's turbo dryers, there's dehumidifiers. None of this stuff is, is it's no good now. There's cab, there, all the equipment from a cabinet building shop that I had years ago was in there. That was EJ Bray. He told us he thinks he's lost more than $100,000 in equipment. His next step will be taking inventory and waiting for his insurance company to come out. Now, investigators still have a lot of work to do as far as figuring out a cause. I did, again, check in with that spokesman. He says that this fire does not appear to be suspicious, but there's a lot more to figure out. Live in Chesapeake, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.